folks, Jenner Murgriffin here and taking a look at some Nightcore smart chargers. A two bay and a four bay that I picked up from fluidvapor.com. I haven't seen any other of our vendors carrying them yet, but someone could have them and I just missed it. Um, it was $16.99 for the two bay, $29.99 for the four bay. Let's go ahead and take a look at what came in the box and stuff. So these are the chargers I picked up. I got both models. The two bay model was $16.99. Um, it does two batteries independently and simultaneously. There's an optional car charger. I didn't get that. And it comes from Sysmax Industry in uh, China, of course. Now, the nifty thing is that it, this will automatically detect whether it's a Lion, a nickel metal hydride, or a NICAD. So it'll do from 26650s to RCR 123As, 16340s. It'll also do AA, AAA, and C rechargeables of the other varieties. Shows the uh, serial number on the bottom. Oh, I put that in the box wrong. Well, you get the idea. Normally it would show the charger, <laughs> but I'm silly. Obviously I've been using them, so. Um, same thing, same set of batteries, 26650 down to, this one does the 10440s as well. Same Sysmax. So let's go ahead and open this one up, since obviously I have it in there wrong anyway. And in the box you get the charger which feels pretty solid and N plug-in cable that does not have a brick on the end which appeals to me because those bricks are hard to get into surge suppressors. Um, it has the nice springs um, the adjustable little tray there instead of just the flimsy little spring on the bottom and it lists all the batteries that it's compatible on the back. It comes with a pretty slim manual. Oops, not that side. Let's try this side. Features, operating instructions, your basic stuff. And a worldwide warranty service card. Write down your seal number. Woohoo! Of course, you can't get a store stamp because you ordered it online. Hmm. So here's the two bay one. Um, this one is uh, nice in that it will stow 26650s side by side. So it's a dollar cheaper than the X-Star, this one, and it will do them side by side. Now each battery has a little three indicators there that I'll show you later. Now this is a little bigger than the X-Star. It also feels a little more solid. Um, and it has additional indicator lights, not a biggie. But again, it doesn't require those little screw-in adjuster bits to fit an 18650, uh, 18350, I'm sorry, or an RCR 123A. To even do my uh, 18350 on the X-Tar, I have to put those little tiny screw-in pieces. Now, they're cheap enough to get a bunch of extra ones, and it comes with a few, but you know, it's much easier not to have it do that all the time and to just have it fit your batteries. Now, it doesn't have the fancy, you can put batteries in here and use them to charge something off the USB, but it's not like I've ever used that anyway. Um, now, the X-Star's a little wider and shorter. Now, it's 4-bay as opposed to 6-bay. But these little cheap old springs are not that great and then again you have to use all the little things to put them in there for the different size batteries and these will do RCR 123As in here so those are the differences the 4 bay one is $29.95 which is about the same as the 6 bay W star and neither of them have a brick they both use that same cable so I've dimmed some of the lights so that you can see the charging lights so we'll put 26650 in here. You can see it starts at the bottom light and then it sort of checks. If it has a little bit of a charge, it'll go up to the next charging level. And then it'll keep going till it's full. 
18650, the rather long Provary branded 18650 and 18500 and an 18350. When they are fully charged, you can kind of see it updating itself on all the batteries. Now that last one that I put in is also flashing on the second. Um, all three lights will be solid when the battery is done charging. Now according to their description, it stops charging when the battery is full. Each bay runs independently so you don't have to have the same type, the same size, or the same kind of battery in every bay. In fact, you can mix the nickel metal hydride, NICAD, and Lion in different bays. Each bay is separately monitored, which is advantageous. Oh, pretty flashing lights. So that's the two Nightcore chargers. Now, they have pretty much replaced my XTAR 2 and 6 bay. Yes, it's 4 and not 6 bays, but frankly, the 6 bay, I would put a 26650 in the two outside slots. And because they were actually bigger than the slots, I couldn't use all four of the inside ones. I could only use maybe two, the two middle. So I was only getting four bays out of it anyway. With this on the two bay, I can run the 26650 side by side and use all four slots in the four bay for other batteries. So I'm getting full slot usage out of them. Um, there's no bricks on those power cords, which is awesome. Because when you're a nerd like me, and everything comes with a brick. Hard drives, routers, speakers, what, they all come with bricks. And frankly, my under desk, under my desk is an electrician's nightmare. I even have those special adapters with the things that pull out so you can have your bricks at different angles. Um, so that's a big advantage. Um, second advantage is the four bay doesn't have those crappy little springs on the bottom. It has the nice adjustable, which is also the advantage because I can do any of my batteries, 18350s, 18500s, RCR 123As, any of them without having to play with those little screw on and screw off adjusters and did I have enough of them and which one was I going to put it in to do or how many did I have to put in to do a battery of that size. So I pretty much had the two bay dedicated to 18350s with two of those little things in it and the middle bays on the other one dedicated to 18500s and now I can just put whatever in whatever bay is open. So. I kind of like them better. Regardless, it's a smart charger and we now have a few more options. Um, previously we had the Pila, which was incredibly overpriced at 50 bucks for two bays and used those little adjustable things for smaller batteries. The X-Stars are nice. They run about the same price range. They're a good option too. Um, and now we have the Night Cores. Either way, you should, if you have electronic cigarettes with removable batteries, be using a smart charger. One, because they know how to check for problems with the batteries. Two, they're smart enough to stop putting current into them if they are full, which is very important for your battery safety. Um, so anyway, take that as you will. Um, I kind of like them better than the x -Tars, but that's me. Um, but now we have some more options, so safe charging. Thanks for watching.